Scott, one more game. No, really, I can't. Where are you going? Hey, that's right. You're gonna be baptized. Baptized? Oh, How come? I'll explain it to you sometime. It's something I believe. And it's partly for my little sister. Little sister? I thought she died. Yeah, she did. And this is our printing room. And this is our new machine, a six-color offset, and you should see what it does. Here's an example. Oh, uh, Dean, give me one of those. Here, take one. Uh, this is the imprinter here. Now, uh, see, George, you got a line one. Uh, here's our four-color offset there. And out here is the shipping and receiving. Uh, watch yourself coming through there. Paul, Paul, it's your wife. Oh, um, Excuse me, Ed, would you uh, answer any of these uh, people's uh, questions? Excuse me just a minute. Thanks. <sighs> Hi. Hi, honey, how you doing? Gosh, I was hoping you would have left by now. Well, how could he be on the phone if I already left? Look, people were late, and I, I'm going as fast as I can. I'm telling you, I'm arguing. Yeah, well, so am I. What is the big deal? I feel like I'm a little bit strange. I don't believe you. 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 I don
Look, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be short. I, I'm trying. <laughs> We've sure come a long way, haven't we? Yes, we have. I still got a long way to go. Well, we all do. But after today, we'll be a lot closer. I'll be on time. I promise. Have you heard from Jody yet? No, no, I haven't. She's on time. She's the one that started all this. You think I should call? No, no, no. I I'll call her. Would you mind? No. Look, we pulled together, not apart. That's new deal, right? Yeah. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Bye. If you hadn't have been, well, brave enough to talk about things and stand up for your beliefs, I probably wouldn't be doing this. You did it, not me. You and your family are the ones that made the decision. Yeah, I know, but with a whole lot of help from you. Remember that lunch we had with Molly and we were talking about Dave and me? Well, my life would be a whole lot different now if you hadn't have been so, so... Blunt? Yeah, blunt's a good word for it. <laughs> Don't think I wasn't nervous. I just couldn't let Molly talk you into something you'd regret. Remember the look on her face? No way! What's the matter with you? I mean, you like him, right? Yeah, we get along great. He's funny, he's intelligent. He's, he's... gorgeous! I mean, he's totally gorgeous. I'd lock him up if I were you. I'd like to. It's just that things are kind of awkward right now, you know? He wants to take the relationship a lot further than I do. Jody, come on. I mean, if you want that boy, you gotta do what it takes to make him happy. Because if you don't, someone else will. Those are the facts of life. Whoa, <laughs> there's Dot. I've got a conquest to make, and so do you. See you guys later. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's wrong. Actually, there's no maybe about it. Jody, you and I both have friends that took things way too far before marriage. When they're honest about it, they wish they hadn't. They, they even admit to being worried or ashamed or embarrassed. Why not wait until marriage to have sex? You'll be a lot happier if you do. At least, that's what God has promised us. I mean, we are his children, and he ought to know what's best for us. Even if society or Molly says that's the way it is. This is sort of sounding like Sunday school. <laughs> I know. I've just seen too many of my other friends get messed up. Tell David what I told Michael, that you want to set up some rules. And if he really cares about you, he'll go along. It's worked for us. Well, how long ago did they leave? Ah, I see. OK, thank you. <sighs> yes? Mr. Perkins from the homeless shelter is here to see you. Oh, that's right. Do you know I have to babysit this guy again? Is there anyone around here bright enough to handle this account? Oh, well, get him. Yeah. Mr. Perkins from the Homeless Shelter Project is here to pick up the check you promised. I didn't promise him anything. I said I'd think about it. I mean, what is it with these do-gooders? Don't they ever give up? Excuse me, uh, Mr. Snyder, I... Oh, I don't mean to make a nuisance of myself. I, I was just driving by in the truck, and I thought I'd stop by it. If I could come back later, if this is not convenient. No, 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 no. That's, uh, that's all right. It's, uh... It's Perkins, isn't it? Yeah, um, well, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of busy. Uh, uh, but listen, let me call the accountant and see what happened to that donation. Sometimes these things just uh, fall through the cracks.
Excuse me, is there a phone around here that I can use? Yeah, it's right down at the end of the hall there at the, uh, right around the corner. Um, thanks. Nice to see you. something to eat while you're waiting? Uh, no. No, thank you. Uh, look, um... I'm sorry about the other day. Don't be. People can change. Please tell Mr. Perkins to wait a moment. Right there. Gee, I, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. And this is for you, too. Thank you so much, Mr. Snyder. It's not just me, it's everybody. And Sue here is the one who uh, took the challenge. Sue, this is Mr. Perkins. Oh, call me Tom. And you don't have to worry. We'll have all this stuff delivered. Okay? You take care of yourself. And he commandeth all men that they must repent and be baptized in his name, having perfect faith in the Holy One of Israel, or they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God. As part of the plan of his Father, Jesus Christ paid the penalty for our sins. We can be forgiven. But we must accept Christ and repent and follow his commandments. It's through this that we can be completely cleansed of all of our sins. And that's what will help us to be worthy to return to the presence of God. That's really what the purpose of this life is all about. How do you feel about that, Andrea? I, I believe that with all my heart. I really do. And because I'm far from perfect, despite what Jody may think, I am so grateful for the Savior and for his atonement because it means I have the chance to live with my family and my Heavenly Father forever. And I think that's the definition of real happiness. We've been reading from the Book of Mormon, which is a companion volume of scripture to the Bible. And we'd like to read a scripture from the Bible that pertains to the things that we've been discussing. Will you read from John chapter 3, verse 16 for oh, us? Sure. Um... Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life.
don't have to end at death. Through prophets, God has restored the knowledge that a husband and wife can be married for eternity. And God has promised families that if they obey his commandments and receive his ordinances, including baptism by one holding the proper authority, that their family relationships can endure forever, not just until death do us part. You can't actually be together forever. Well, that means, that means we'll be a surrogate, right? That's exactly what it means. You will see your sister again, and you can be together forever. It's impossible for us to know how you must really feel about losing your daughter, Sarah. I have a friend, and she's got three beautiful little girls that she loves very much. And one day she called me and told me that the oldest of her three, she was only four years old, had died. And as I struggled for the words of comfort to tell her, I couldn't think of anything to say that would make it all right. And you know what she told me? She said, it's OK, because I know that I'm going to be with my daughter again. And I know that you can be with your daughter again. We're never gonna make it. You're going to make it. This is just the final test. I have no idea how to fix a tire. It's because you have a brother. Come on. I can't believe this is happening today of all days. Oh, don't worry. They won't go ahead without you. Where's David when I need him? <laughs> oh, how are you and David anyway? I suppose you could say we're winning. Yeah, how come? Because we're playing by the rules. Your rules. And you know where I got them. It's funny, I used to think your standards were so confining. You know, like, you didn't have any freedom at all. But it's just the opposite. With rules, commandments, laws, whatever you want to call them. You know, I'm not always wondering what I should do or how far we're gonna go. Things are clear and comfortable, and I think that's real freedom. You don't have to preach to me about it, even though it is nice to have you doing the preaching for once. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Are you forgetting something? Sorry. You're great, Mom, you know that?
Okay, I'll see you about 15 minutes. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, Jody. School. Great. And uh, what's his name? David. Uh, David. Jody. Yeah. Mom, <laughs> hi. You would not believe what happened. We got a flat tire. We got 15 minutes to leave. Go get ready. Oh, go. Well, that's go plenty ahead. of time. <laughs> well, she's happy. Well, so am I. Yeah, well, this is a big day for us, huh? Oh, big and frightening and amazing, all rolled into one. But it's right. I know it is. Is uh, Scott here yet? I think the young man who just bounced through here, Scott. What, is he all right? He just gave me a big hug and kiss. What, Scott? We have to talk. So talk. Can I ask you something? Yeah. I've been thinking about Sarah, and I was thinking that maybe she'll probably even be there today. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Scott. Family's about to change forever. Any last words, huh? Um, I love you all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I 
Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, vanity. <laughs> Runaway, sir. We're on our way. <laughs> 